I trust that you've all got your Bibles with you and and um, uh, over lockdown uh, I had a bit of extra time and and uh, and I decided it, it it would be quite nice to just put a bit of a CD together and and I started praying about it and and I felt that God just just was taking me through like a season of 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 like everything that I know was really just stripped back you know like all the all the things like having church like having a worship team like having all these different things you know being able to do this being able to do that a lot of things were just stripped back for me and and I, I just had it in my heart and and I, I was just like well l- let me do a CD that has everything stripped back Um, but, uh, but this is just instrumental because I realize that sometimes, you know, our words sometimes even get in the way of what we're doing. And sometimes we just need to just experience God and experience His, His, um, His presence with us. So I want to just take you to a scripture verse, uh, 1 Samuel 16 verse 23. And this is the story of David. Saul disobeyed God. He turned his back on God, and and uh, um, and God would send um, an evil spirit to come and torment Saul. So Saul was like, "I need to find a minstrel. I need to find a musician that can come and uh, um, and um, and just play." So First uh, Samuel sixteen verse twenty three. It says there, and so it was. Whenever the spirit from God was upon Saul, that David would take a harp and play it with his hand. Then Saul would become refreshed and well, and the distressing spirit would depart from him. There's power in music. Thank you, Ethel. There's power in music. And it doesn't always have to have lyrics. Yes, there's power in, uh, in, in, um, in the lyrics and in prophecy and all that. But when we read the scripture verse, we realize that there's something that sometimes we miss out on. Songs together. My prayer is just that it can be something that God will use that will set people free. just it's just a whole bunch of chords with a melody and and that was the heart behind it so that it's something that you can put on in the background something that you can just have playing while while you have quiet time specifically I'm always looking for albums like this where it's just instrumental albums where it's not complicated where I'm not like yo that was a good guitar riff or that was a good thing on the piano or whatever but something that's so simple that I'm just like it causes me to just want to love Jesus so that's the whole heart behind this album the album is is uh, uh, is entitled transparent because before God he sees everything you know in life, we want to put so many things up, so many, so many uh, walls, so many masks, uh, so many ideas, so many agendas, so, 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 so many things we put out there for people to see and for even us to see in ourselves. But when God looks at us, He sees right through us. Uh, but, so the question now is probably like, okay, so where can we get the CD? I don't have hard copy CDs, and I and I didn't make hard copy CDs because uh, a, a lot of us don't use those anymore, and it just costs a whole lot of money, and no one really uses it. So if you want the CD, it's on all the sites that you can get CDs from. So from Apple Music on the iTunes Store, on Spotify, on Deezer, on who knows what else. Uh, even on the free sites, you can even get it there, uh, or on YouTube. I think that's probably going to be the easiest for a lot of you because. Uh, if you're in our church, you have been watching all of our uh, services. That's all on YouTube. So all you need to do is just uh, search Oliver Oystazen, uh, Transparent, 
My other CD is also there, so if you want to go listen to that as well, you can find it there. If you want to download it from there, you can do whatever you want. You can copy it. You can share it. There's no copyright on this music. Uh, whatever you want to do with it, you are welcome to do that. And um, so that's where you're going to find it. If you don't find it there, uh, speak to someone younger than you. <laughs> they can do whatever they want. Or you can come and speak to me, of course about it but uh but yeah so thank you for joining me this morning thank you for joining me in a devotional time